Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back to uh, this lecture With me, Ibu Lutfi Afifah I will accompany you along this uh, an hour uh, To study about the introduction of Rodentia What is Rodentia? After uh, the previous lectures, we already study about the history of pesticide, and then we study about the classification of insect, the morphology of insect. Now we will move to the uh, different material, Rodentia, which is really different with insect. But uh, we have to know that the Rodentia, one of the Rodentia, is is a pest in uh, in agriculture. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, let's move to the next slide. Do you see this cute rat? <laughs> this uh, this is cute rat, but it uh, have a potential damage to our agriculture. The species is Ratus argentifeta. This is a uh, house field, uh, sorry, field rat. In Indonesia, we call it tikus sawah. Okay, let's move to the next slide. Pest significance. Uh, one per five, our food supply is consumed by rodent. Rodent is our neighbor. Maybe in your house there is a rodent. Yeah. If you uh, didn't uh, clean your house, maybe your house infected by that in that rodent um, so please clean your house uh, sanitation is a must sanitation is a crucial things to get rid of this uh, rodent in your house okay. I can consume 30 grams each evening while mice two until four grams uh, this is different between red and mice basically a rat uh, is usually larger than mice mice is smaller and the, another difference uh, is the dropping the poop yeah the dropping the dropping of the rat is larger than mice okay as you can see in the picture, this is the uh, poop uh, or uh, the excrete of the rat. One mouse can excrete uh, 40 until 100 uh, pellets and 100 droplets, droplets of, uh, of a day. Uh, so this is the dropping, the pellet of the rat and this is palette of right uh, of mice gnawing damage they gnaw every day because their teeth is growing every day so they need to gnawing everything uh, to make uh, their teeth into ideal size they can uh, gnawing anything they found maybe they can knowing wood or soap in your house or what else or wire and uh, furniture anything yeah? and uh, burrowing damage uh, yeah. they they uh, like to uh, make a damage and it's hiding And also, they can transmit a disease. This threat can be a factor of a disease. In the last century, uh, 10 million people have died from rodent because they can associate with a uh, disease. They can associate with bacteria and then virus and the nematode. Yeah. A lot of uh, disease. Uh, could be associated with this rat. So that's why the management of rat is crucial. 
because uh, in in our in field they can damage our uh, rice uh, field and in in the house if the rat is in the house they can transmit disease from uh, rat, that rat into us so take care of your house let's move to the next slide classification of rodent class is mammalia and the order is rodentia the family is muridae order rodentia has uh, 1700 species of rodent in 35 family so, uh, there are so many species in this world but in in asia uh, there are a few species that are already uh, now larger rodent is the capybara of south america this is capybara the larger rodent uh, you can found in uh, you can found this capybara in south america and the weight could be reached 50 kilos that's so big and the smallest uh, mouse is the pygmy mouse you can see this uh, tiny mouse in uh, in someone found yeah it's so tiny and maybe the the weight it is about a few grams rodents is come from uh, the latin rodere rodere that means to gnaw as i told you before the teeth of the mouse is growing growing every day so they need to know everything to make the ideal size of uh, of that teeth family moridae has 500 uh, species Nah. and this is the uh, some of the species that have been recognized in Asia rice field rat ratus argenti phantom this is a one of the one of the uh, one of the pests in paddy field ratus argenti phantom they can damage our uh, our paddy crop and then the black rat ratus ratus drde uh, we can find this species in the house basically in the house we can find these uh, two kind of species ratus ratus drde and mus musculus in the house uh, the, the, the species is different when uh, the uh, when the the rat is attacking the paddy field is species is ratus argenti phantom and the other species that attack wood is ratus theomanicus is uh, this is this species is uh, is a main pass in uh, palm oil okay. ratus theomanicus and then bandicota rat is uh, Bandicota Indica. This is the larger rat. And this Bandicota Indica, we can found these species in rain or in the waterways. Uh, it's mean in a cot, yeah, cot atau saluran air. Okay, house house mouse, mouse musculus, several subspecies we can find in house. This is differences between rat and mice. Uh, not only the morphology of mouse and rat, uh, the difference is also from this poop, this uh, dropping. The dropping shape is different. The dropping shape of uh, the mouse is pointed ends. Yeah. It's like that, the shape. But the rat is like a banana and uh, this uh, the mouse uh, 80 dropping per day while rat is 40 dropping per day it's different eating habit mouse is 
a smaller size of food, only 3 grams of food per day, while the rat is uh, actually consume 15 until 30 grams of food per day. That's quite a lot, the rat. That's why the 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 body is uh, bigger than mouse. Okay, the morphology, the differences of morphology, uh, we can find on the ear and then in the tails and in leg. Okay, the weight is also different. Uh, in the weight, yeah, it's twelve under forty-five grams. While rat is bigger than that mouse. Okay, and then we move to the next slide. This is uh, the okay. This is the preservation of rat. Yeah, preservation it means awetan, awetan uh, tikus. Yeah, preservation. While uh, the insect we have insectarium. Uh, uh, this is the uh, rodent preservation, and I ever make this. Uh, rodent preservation or well, how to make this uh, rodent preservation do you know how to make this cute it's like a doll <laughs> okay the first uh, thing uh, is uh, I, I, uh, I ever uh, skinning this uh, skin skinning is uh, is mean in Indonesia, it's mean manguliti, ya. Yeah. Uh, skinning the outer body of the rat, skinning, and then I also uh, after that after skinning the outer body of the rat, and then I insert a cotton and uh, the chemical. Uh, it's like a what is that formalin formalin yeah i insert formalin and other uh, chemical ingredients and then i after that i sew i sew that uh, this this part i sew this part using uh, using thread and then I after I sew that uh, part uh, with thread, and then uh, I I strengthen the tail with wire. Okay, and then uh, we uh, the next process is drying, and then the skull is also removed. The skull is mean uh, tengkorak ya. The skull is also removed. This is uh. uh make us easier to identify the the rat this rodent preservation so the first one is skinning the outer body of the rat and then we insert cotton and also the chemical ingredient like a formalin and then I sew, sew the the body with the thread and then drying and then the school is also removed yeah that's why uh, do you see uh, the the what's it the eyes is white is is cotton yeah cotton full of cotton okay now do you want to make this preservation also <laughs> okay this is uh, ratus ratus dia di tikus rumah and the rice field thread ratus argentifenter wood thread ratus humanicus and then this is the house mouse mus musculus this is also house mus musculus okay next slide uh, okay this is urban pest what do you think urban pest have you ever heard about the urban pest what is urban pest What is urban pest? Do you know? Have you ever had the problems with the urban pest? Have you ever had a problem 
urban fest. Uh, so uh, before we uh, talk about the urban fest, let's see this reader bandicoot rat. This is a uh, ticus god or a rat that we can find in a drain or in a waterways. This is Bandicota indica and this is house mouse. This is the differences about a, a Norway rat and roof rat. Uh, the dropping is also different and the rat track is also different. Next move to the urban pest. The, the rat is uh, one is is actually one of the urban pests. Yeah. Urban pests is knowing our life. Yeah. Urban most pro most common pro pest problem in the urban pests. Yeah, this is uh, you can see in the picture. What is urban pests? Urban pests are becoming increasingly increasingly important as urbanization is happening basically around the world so real life in the area that uh, may be there uh, we can found many urban paths around of us for example uh, you you had a problem with ants you ever had a problem with termite with rat and mice store product pests it it mean um, a pest that attack your store product for example pests that attack your rice in uh, in the home atau uh, kutu beras ya yeah. store product pests it mean uh, hama gudang uh, or you ever had a problem with cockroach with flies that is uh, several surface and it's, uh, it is estimated some 60% of the world population live in urban areas today not only in our house but also in the hotel and then uh, in the hotel in a restaurant fast food in the supermarket uh, in supermarket and then in a factory and a lot of uh, building maybe uh, could be contaminated with that pest and uh, rat for example rat uh, cockroach and uh, rat cockroach and then store product pests are the main uh, the main pests in the food factory for example, uh, I will. Uh, uh, for example, in a PT Indofood or PT Mayora, PT Mayora produce food, maybe produce uh, biscuit, uh, wafer, and etc. In Indofood maybe uh, produce uh, noodles, and then uh, ketchup and other other food product that might in their warehouse maybe they have the same problem with with uh, that pest okay well there is a food there is definitely a possibility of pest contamination yeah well there is a food there is definitely a possibility of pest contamination for example, in our house, uh, in our house there is a food, so maybe the cockroach will become, the ant will become, the rat uh, will become to our house, and yeah, that's the same uh, the same uh, situation in the hotel or in the food factory. That is the same, and how to manage that pest? to manage yeah this is uh, this is uh, the someone is battle with termite ants house flies mosquito cockroach rats bed bugs fleas one of the urban pests is bed bug bed bug is uh, bugs that contaminate uh, that uh, 
that the habitat is in the bed or we can uh, say it uh, kutu kasur in Indonesia yeah bed bug is uh, so uh, become the main 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 uh, problems in a hotel okay especially if the hotel has uh, bad sanitation maybe there is a contamination of bed bugs because uh, a few okay a few years ago i uh, ever uh, heard in uh, in some of the america they have a serious problem bed bugs in uh, in their hotel and they breed uh, in the uh, room and they contaminated uh, uh, the their uh, bedroom and it will Im, uh, the, the impact is the customer the customer the, the skin of the customer will break up and uh, it uh, will be a serious problem to a sensitive person okay next move to the next slide okay how to manage this urban pest oh in in each country has a several pest control company so oh, we are in indonesia uh, have uh, several pest control company that is a company that focus on urban pest management they work in a hotel they work in a restaurant they work in supermarket they work in a house maybe someone uh, rent their uh, maybe they uh, rent their service the client of pest control companies are from food companies and food factory food court in mall supermarket hotel hall rice storage warehouse uh, this is uh, the block uh, block warehouse this is a lot of a lot of rice and uh, maybe if there is no fumigation if there is no management this rice would be attacked by rat and by store pests maybe it 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 would be it would be happen if there is no management in this warehouse and the uh, the result is the uh, rice will be damaged and uh, could not um, consumed by the customer and have a bad uh, quality okay that's why pest control company is uh, is one of the sol- what one of the solution how to control urban pests yeah for example in a food factory like uh, as i told you before in PT Mayura, PT Indofood, that they they produce uh, food every day. Yeah, they they have certification. Maybe uh, they they follow the one of the certification HACCP. One of the checklists in HACCP is they have to uh they 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 were they warehouse or their factory should be free from rat should uh should free from cockroach and etc because if uh if there is a cockroach or there is a, a rat contaminate their company their their warehouse so the quality is bad the, uh, it will reduce their their uh, product so uh, it's for it's important to have a pest control company to help uh, to help the the food factory maintain their product okay and then we move to the what do you think about agricultural pests this is a really different with urban pests urban pests is commonly uh, they disturb us uh, they they live around of us but agricultural pests is actually damaged the crop for example the rat 
Ratus Argentifenter is damage the paddy plant. Ratus Tiomanicus is damage the uh, palm oil, palm oil, and, and etc. Yeah, that is agricultural pest. Not only rat, which is uh, their uh, vertebrate, but but also agricultural pest is uh, from invertebrate like insect. It's like uh, uh, in paddy field, there is a uh, worang, eh? worang, or in English we uh, we uh, we call it brown brown plant hopper. Nila parfata lugan is uh, is pest also. So please make a differences between urban pest and agricultural pest. This is the cake trap. A lot of trap we have, and this is TBS. Uh, next week we will uh, talk about the DBS. This is a cake trap, one of the trap, and then this is the nest of the rat in the field. Then, then uh, the the question is how to control this, this rat. Uh, basically, we we have a lot of a lot of uh, solution to to manage this rat in the in the field we have uh, we have a, we have a tbs trapberry system we have ltbs linear trapberry system we have um, we have a biological agent using tito alba or using owl so the owl will consume the rat because the owl Tito Alba is one of the good predator for uh, Ratus Argentifenta. In one night, the rat, the sorry, the uh, owl uh, can be consumed about nine until twelve rat uh, per night. Yeah. Okay, and then. Okay, and then uh, in the pest management uh, strategies, uh, integrated pest management, that we have uh, several strategy to uh, get rid of this rat in the field. Not only using trap, as I told you before, not only using biological agent, but the uh, we have to concern about the uh, crop rotation. Uh, the it's uh, the crop rotation is important in one year do not uh, plant only rice 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 in in one year but we have to change uh, the uh, to other crop so we can uh, we can cut the life cycle of the that pass we can uh, we can uh, manage uh, their uh, reproduction because the because the host or the plant is uh, is uh, different so the uh, crop rotation is is important and then uh, the uh, another thing that uh, that is important is plant in unison Plant in unison it means tanam serampak. Why we should uh, plant the uh, in unison? Because if we didn't do uh, a unison planting, so uh, the rat would be moved from plot A into plot B into plot C into plot D that have a different stage of of planting. Maybe plot E is is still seedling, and then. Uh, uh, a plot B will be harvesting and then a uh, plot C is still vegetative phase so the rat would be uh, maneuver from plot uh, from plot to plot so planting unison is important so we have uh, the same the same pace of the of the uh, paddy that's that's the point okay and then this is the trap and then okay let's move to the bioecology 
uh, the biology of the rat is nocturnal in habit. They uh, they are active in night, and they are excellent swimmers. They good swimmers. They good climbers. Climbers and good sense of smell and hearing. Uh, they really have a good smell, and they can gnaw through material like aluminium, wood, wiring, etc. They can enter through a very small opening. So they can insert uh, into small hole when when the when the head is uh, is able to to in so the rest of the body will uh, able to in too. Okay? That's uh, it depends on the on the head if the uh, the the body is really um, what is it elastic yeah elastic if if the uh, head is able to uh, to enter the small hole so the rest of the body can enter the small hole too okay. the function is to cool the animals and the and the provide balance balance while they are walking. Even they can walk in a wire, so like like that, they they excel, excellent climber. And then the vision, the uh, the rat is color blind. Uh, real rely most on smell and touch. Okay, uh, they can identify object up to 50, 15 meters away. And uh, the the rat can detect motion up to ten meters, and then touch. The senses touch, uh, take more pilic or vibrate. Touch loving. They are relying on touch to navigate the environment. They they uh, they have. Uh, Sorry. Okay. They have weakness in vision. They are uh, they are color blind. They have a weakness in the in in their eyes weakness. So that's why when they're walking, they close to the wall. Uh, they relying on touch to the wall so they can navigate the environment. Yeah. They prefer to squeeze between objects. And when foraging in open areas, they map travel path with the pheromone. So pheromone is a chemical uh, chemical compound that can use to communicate in the same species. So the pheromone is acting like hormone outside the body. Yes, uh, the the impact of the the pheromone is uh, can communicate. Uh, each other in one species they can look at food and then they can look at the territory they uh, uh, one a species have a, a territory and they're marking their territory territory with urine and body secretion so uh, that, that is the function of pheromone not only to look at food but also to communicate each other to look at the, the territory or marking the territory and etc and then uh, we move to the next slide test uh, they can respond to sweet uh, bitter salt and sour okay it's like to uh, like us they can uh, they can respond to any flavor like sweet, bitter, salt, sour. Hearing can hear 90 until 100 kHz range. And uh, the red emit ultra, ultra sound to communicate, to locate object, and assist in maneuvering. So uh, they can emit ultrasound. The ultrasound can be heard by uh, another another rat in one species yeah it's specific 
Okay, uh, that is the census. We already um, study about the fashion and then the olfaction and then uh, the the bioecology. They are good climber and then and then good swimmer and etc. And now we uh, study about their reproductive and biology how is the life cycle they have a reproductive uh, potential the potential is high they can breed uh, one one female can breed 60 until 80 per uh, per one growing season uh, in this slide it's uh, right and rapid sexual maturity yes in the next slide we will we will talk about this life cycle year round breeding uh, they can breeding a long year as long as the food is is uh, available as long as maybe as long as the paddy field is available yeah they can breed every year lifespan four under six months as long as 18 months they can live uh, maybe until 18 months or more and any uh, okay pheromone have been described before the marking uh, using pheromone not only locate the food but also marking the territory they communicate each other uh, they marking their area using urine and uh, body secretion and hierarchy dominant male yeah uh, the male is dominant than the female the harborex selection or the habitat uh, some of the red the habitat is in the ground some of the species the habitat is in the tree some of the species uh, the habitat in hollow space no, they, they uh, have a different nest and then in their nest uh, uh, helps in maintaining body work yeah and their feeding behavior is omnivore they can eat anything they found yeah omnivore uh, then we move to the next slide mouse life cycle this is uh, male and this female and then they uh, they mate they mate and then they pregnant or in Indonesia bunting they pregnant about 21 days uh, only 21 days they pregnant and then they uh, uh, they produce a lot of lot of uh, this is anakan okay they uh they pregnant and then they uh yeah they produce uh, many descendant or anakan after 21 days and then they breastfeeding 21 days and then after five until nine weeks they become adult yeah maybe about two months they will become adult and then after uh, they adult and then uh, they uh, they will search for uh, the other male or the other female and then they met again this is how how the life cycle how short the life cycle of the uh, of the field trap and then uh, one female can produce can produce maybe until 12 under 15 descendant per uh, per yeah yeah per melahirkan yeah okay yeah per giving birth uh, a generation in one uh, growing season you know, from one female is about 60 until 80 uh, young rat yeah that's quite a lot that's why the management of the rat is crucial 
And uh, this is uh, the one thing that you have to know. Postpartum oestrus. Uh, it happened in a female rat. Yeah. Postpast postpartum oestrus. What is postpartum postpartum oestrus? Postpast postpartum oestrus is uh, the ability of female to last uh, after they giving birth yeah they uh, they last after uh, giving birth 24 until eight, uh, 48 hours so after one until two days after they giving birth they can mate again they can uh, looking for the male and then they will pregnant again like that yeah Birahi it means last yeah. Last again after 24 until 48 hours So this female is able to uh, Is able to uh, To uh, breed again After they giving birth After they give Setelah dia melahirkan dia bisa birahi kembali And then after that we move to the ini ya uh, next slide stopping one mouse does a lot nih this is how when there is no management there is no control of rat so they will breeding continuously from uh, for example this is only the um, calculation from January until December January the rat is one May it will increase uh, until 40. Uh, right and then the September 6 150 and then oh, 4600 in December this quite a lot if we uh, didn't control that rat so they will con uh, breeding continuously uh, and um, the population is or maybe the population will be over or we call it Uh, pest outbreak ya, yeah. pest outbreak atau uh, ledakan hama. Uh, there, uh, most of the areas have a problem with rat. In Indonesia, uh, the the rat is endemic in several areas. Not all of the areas in Indonesia have been attacked this rat. No ya, yeah. no. This is several areas. Uh, endemic is the is the area that Uh, in the in the in the grow in the growing season, uh, the the pest is there. Okay, yeah. There is always uh, this. There is always uh, this pest in every growing season with a high population. Yeah, it it mean endemic. Yeah, endemic. Uh, it. Uh, always there is maybe endemic of rat always uh, there is always rat in every growing season with a high population okay. some of the area have uh, have a problem with that and uh, most of the uh, area didn't have problem with rat so in several areas it's different and then this is the sign of rodent infestation uh, we can uh, find There is uh, rodent in infestation from dropping uh, or, or poop they produce, and then they, from urine, from rodent track, from growing damage they uh, they produce, from burrow, um, from nest, runaway, sound of rodent. Some of the rodent, if the population is high, so the sound is really annoying. And sometimes we can find live or dead rodent. And then the odor. The odor is mm, it's not uh, it's not good. Okay, this is the nest. Uh, and then this uh, rodent damage. And this is the gnawing damage of the rodent. They they gnawing uh, the lid of something. Tutup sesuatu ya. Oke, okay, and then we move to the next slide. Uh, maybe we almost done. 
the rat uh, could be transmit some disease like murin, rickettsia pox, hantavirus, typhoid, dysentery, plague, and another. Another. There, there are a lot of a uh, lot of diseases could be transmit by this rat uh, as a factor. That's why you have to get rid of rat in your house. Okay, and then um, we move to the next slide. Other vertebrate pests. Yeah, beside rat, uh, that is a vertebrate pest. Uh, we all, we can also uh, find another vertebrate pest, except rat. Maybe some of the areas have a big problem with pig. Actually, uh, maybe in uh, in area that is near with the plantation, dekat dengan perkebunan. And then uh, some of the area uh, have a problem with squirrel, and this is the uh, gnawing damage of a rat of mouse rodentia, and then this is gnawing damage of squirrel. This is different that gnawing damage, and maybe uh, some of the places have a problem with vertebrate like bat, yeah, and then some of the of uh, the area have a problem with kalong pteropus famirus and then lepus ni glicolis and, and this is this is look like uh, look like a rat or a mouse but uh, different look at the look at the head of this of this animal yeah uh, this is how true this is uh, the order is different while the red uh, the order is rodentia the order of this house row or cecurutruma is insectivora it means they eat insect insectivora yeah they eat insect while the rodentia is uh, omnivore this is in insectivora okay and then uh, <coughs> okay, this is Kalong, and some of the some of the uh, area have a problem with elephant. Actually, the elephant have uh, their own territory, but if uh, their territory uh, threatened by something, they could enter the plantation. They could enter the uh, transmigrant houses and etc. Yeah. So uh, some of the area have a problem with uh, monkey, with elephant and etc. There are a lot of vertebrate pests in 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 this world. Yeah, not only rat, but also uh, there are monkey, elephant, squirrel, and then the rabbit and then. The and uh, I have two two fascinating video that uh, I will show you. This is about the moss plague in Australia, and I have a red temple in India. Please watch together with me. Okay. It's raining mice in Australia, literally, and I'm not making this up or reading it out from a Murakami. Millions of mice have infested Australia, and they're everywhere. Houses, garages, water yeah, tanks, Yeah, ini adalah beds. kejadian mice di Australia, dan ini kejadian tahun 2021. And in Australian cities yeah. are patching up holes in their homes and sealing Jadi the doors. Dia, uh, in the rural areas, farmers are losing their ya. harvest. The government has declared a war on the tailed army and announced a package worth wab, 50 million uh, dollars. This is the most plug in Australia. This report brings you the battle plan. They have a strategy Imagine problem this. in you their field. You and I'll jump some mice. Not only you go to your field, kitchen, but also and there are mice they everywhere. Enter the house. Sounds like a horror movie or a nightmare. Hotels and supermarkets. Welcome to Australia. Here, it's a reality. 
There is mouse plague down under, and it looks something like this. Disgusted already? Watch this. Uh, there is a uh, heavy rain in 2020 and in 2000 it's raining mice quite literally they have a most they are inside houses in on the walls on the roofs inside containers they are what, everywhere what is the correlation of heavy rain and most How like do you in australia in a situation like this what is that you don't says australian farmer cody brady you know i don't sleep um, because I'm paranoid, you know, you can hear them in your walls and your roof, and um, you're absolutely bad. To answer that, we must rewind to 2020, a they year also most of us would rather forget. And the Australian farmers, restaurant. it was a good year, a year of rain. It rained more than the two previous years combined. They the ground became fertile in and there was a bumper harvest. And this is the ideal But no condition. one saw the mice coming. The rain brought them by creating they, an uh, ideal condition they for can the little produce. rodents. Once they had a sizable army, the mice went straight for the harvest. The wheat, the barley, they infested it all. They also they attacked also hotels, food hotels, marts and bakeries, childcare centres and, uh, and made no exception for old age homes. Places. As early as March, photos like these made their way to the headlines. A local farmer said, at night the ground is moving with thousands and thousands of mice just running around. That was just a warm-up for a cross-country race, two kilometres. From Adelaide to Brisbane, via okay, Melbourne, they outbreak and in Sydney. several areas, not only the mice Brisbane, are chewing Sydney, crops, Adelaide, electrical wires, everything. machines, even the biting patients should be hard in work to, And then there uh, is the smell. To control this, the, the smell rats. is rotten. Like you know, Outbreak. the, the live uh, smell outbreak. of the mice is you know terrible, but um, terrible. Yeah, the dead smells you know ten times worse. So what is Australia doing about the tailed army? It has declared a war. Houses have been fortified. There are strategies in place and traps are being laid. Australian authorities have announced a mouse plague package worth $50 million. People living in cities have been told to use steel wool to patch up holes in their homes. Also seal their doors. So my house is absolutely sealed like a submarine like you know i've got okay. rubber and around my doorways and underneath um i've got about 15 bait stations and i spend at least an hour every morning every night picking up dead mice you like, can watch this video but how many i will of give these you creatures the link? do you kill if one pair of mice Mice have terrorized the country through the 80s, 90s, and as recently as 2011. But some farmers say this is the worst they have seen. Pledging our support for Australia. Bureau report. We are World is One. Okay, kemudian kita berpindah ke, ke ini ya. Next slide. We are is now available in your. Sorry. Okay. We move to the uh, Red Temple in India. This is a first glance, really different this temple situation in, in India looks like any other. Australia. In Australia, uh, uh, in Australia the there is an old brick of rat because of but the this uh, also houses other ideal condition so they rat can breed easily. They run rampant but in, the in courtyards. India. Spill out of doors. In India is different. Downstairs, scurry around we corners. We can't look at the video. And there's not one, not two, but over 15,000 of them inside. Welcome to the Rat Temple. 
We consider the rats as a form of the goddess. We worship them. Jatudin is a priest of the Karni Mata temple in the village of Deshnak near Bekaner. It's his job to look after and the rats. And they maintain but he doesn't uh, the rats in the them. temple. He also drinks, eats, and sleeps with them. Okay. Jatudin believes they are his ancestors, reborn Ancestor. as rats. They think Some they, are my they, fathers, they are my grandfathers. So my whole family and, is here. Uh, the dead man when they is die, they're born as rats. When a rat dies, it's born as us humans. Mm. That might seem preposterous to many in the West, but people here believe in reincarnation. And they believe in the Jatudin and his clan are descendants of the goddess. They believe that if it's a they gift eat to be together, born in her they tribe, drink together with the rat. Oh my God. It is the order of the mother goddess. While we live, we'll live here. And when we die, we'll become rats. And when we die, we become rats. So sacred are these rats they that they're treated in that. like celebrities. Mouse in there is like a celebrity. arrive at the temple. A lot of tourists. But to get um, in, they're required to do something that makes many looking. shudder. Right. They must remove their shoes. Uh, they and go have barefoot. to remove their shoes and their the barefoot. The rule prevents people from squishing they the rats. the floor. Oh my but God. it makes for a sticky experience. So maybe the floor the is sticky because of the urine excrement. and the dropping. And there's just one the man floor. scooping up after the gods. It's really dirty places. All over the temple. I can imagine how is the order of the temple. And children are allowed to do things people elsewhere would find horrific. He fed the rat with his hands. Think about this place. The rats here are harmless. Uh, the children is playing with the rats. But outside this temple, when it comes to rats, there's always fear. The fear of disease. But even here, there are risks involved. Oh rats goodness, don't have so to buy... Dirty. At first glance, this temple in northern India looks like Sorry. Priest Chatudin and the other members of his clan devote themselves to serving the rats. Their belief in reincarnation is so strong that they never treat them as mere rodents. Clan members like Devi eat, eat together and drink with the with rats <laughs> and break bread the with rash. the family. He calls the rats kabas or little children, and feeds them first before eating himself. Mm. And they're feeding their rat before eating In the temple's uh, kitchen, the children's wife is preparing lunch. They even cooking with the rats. The rats are the official tasters. While they're cooking, the rats They can eat everything out here. Sweets, greens, snacks, even green chilies if it likes. It's an act that would shut down any restaurant in the West, but in this kitchen, it's a sign of good fortune. If they eat with us, we feel good. If you stop if them, then the mother us, goddess will get upset. Good. She will get angry. Oh my God. The rats are even free to lick the plates. For the devotees of Karni Mata, embracing the taboo is an act of faith. What's important is not what these rats look like to others. It's what their worshippers see in them. Okay, I think enough for today. So don't forget you have to uh, do the assignment. As uh, usual, there is a resume and you have to resume the video. Memorize at least seven species of rodent. And we finish today. We will uh, meet again in Zoom meeting. Uh, goodbye. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.